And we're back again. We're back, man. Sorry, y'all. We had some technical difficulties with all the reception and the service out here. Yeah, it's been a, that out here in Northern Cali right now. Yeah, we've been uh, on hiatus for a while, man. We had a lot of technical difficulties, like Tone just said, going on. Uh, some COVID adventures we I I had. Um, <laughs> so this has been a lot going on, man. We we've, we've been gone for about a month, but what do you know? We're back right on time for the playoffs. It's all good, man. We had some hard fought wins at the LA Rams to close out the season. Then we had to go to Dallas, our, our biggest rivalry ever, our rival ever. Mm-hmm. Beat them. We went to Green Bay, probably our, our second, our, our second that. biggest rival, and beat them. We shredded that cheese. That cheese smelled bad too. Hey man. Spoiled that rotten. Was, um, rotten. We 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 we, we uh we, we show who we are, man. Oh, just to, sorry, man. We're getting ahead of ourselves. We back. Facts over feelings. Hello. <laughs> oh yeah, we're back. We back. We back. We back. We back. We back. We back. So we excited, man. As y'all know, it's playoff time. Playoff time. You know what I mean? Playoffs. So we're talking playoffs. Um, yeah, we got two wins already in the playoffs. Right. Right. So that's that's big for us, man. Especially coming from the the type of season we've already had, and nobody expected us to be here. So this is big, and we back at the right time. You feel me? And we can talk about it. To you beautiful people. You know what I, I mean? It, I love it, man. And that's I why love, we back. I love victories, man. Yeah, it's great. And it's just so happens that, you know, um, since last time we talked, we only remember last time we talked to y'all. It's been uh, I, I don't, like I don't so, remember, over but. a month. But since then, needless to say, we've done a lot of things have transpired. Niners are very far along in the playoffs, as you'll know. And we won a huge game. And, uh, yeah, we did. A couple of them. Yeah, Rams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cowboys, Packers, yeah, man, and we just keep on proving everybody wrong, man. Like man. everybody keeps picking against us, and that's cool. Keep on doing it. It's, we'll uh, keep on being underdogs. The Rams are phonies, they're frauds. You know, just like that, uh, just like the uh, sorry, but the, the, the Lakers, you know, led by the, LeBron, <laughs> you know, the phony super team. I'm really just yeah, LeBron and Westbrook, but of course, I and, know. But, but yeah, man, like the Niners, we powerful, y'all. We, we got Nick Bosa, it's, it's Armstead, been crazy, man. It's, it's, it's been wild, Booker. roller coaster. Arms are playing like a man child, man. DJ Jones, Contavious Street, Jordan Willis, the Mr. Block, the uh special teams kick for yeah, the game yeah. winner. Well, we, we gotta get into all of that, man. man. So um let's let's just jump right into this Green Bay game, man, because um nobody gave us a chance in hell in this game. Nobody did. Only people that knew we would win is us, is yeah. Niner fans, you know what I mean? We we battle tested, you know what I mean? We've been through this shit all 2019. Same team, pretty much, right? Yeah. Just a couple interchangeable players, but we've been through that. And then we're showing the resilient uh, resilience again this year, Tom. The same shit we've been through. Games we shouldn't even be here if yeah. we didn't beat LA to get in here. We wouldn't even be here, right? Exactly. So I'm just saying. And all we keep doing is proving the doubters wrong. We underdogs in every game. Every game we underdogs. Are we not? All the time, every <laughs> game. I'm like, what? And, okay, okay. And what happens? Keep on winning. Keep getting them dubs. Man, that train keep rolling. Al Davis just that win, train, baby. Train keep rolling. Al baby. Davis just win, baby. And uh, I mean, it's amazing to see, man. I mean, it's it's great to see we are on our high horses around here in the Bay, like we have a right to be, because we just proving the world wrong over and over and over again. <laughs> so Shoo. keep on good. doing it every week, and yes. Jimmy G delivering yes. these wins, man. Oh, who, who, who? Jimmy Garoppolo. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that Jimmy guy. GQ. Jimmy that Jesus. guy. Jimmy. That guy. That guy who who who's supposed to be um some mediocre quarterback or the most mediocre quarterback in the playoffs. On, he keeps on winning playoff games. Four and one in the playoffs. Hey, he's in the final four, huh? <laughs> again, <laughs> he's, he's in the final really four. Five and oh, but again, man. wow. Garoppolo, he made enough throws. Like he hit the kid on that third, wow. third and eleven, hit Debo for another one. You know he threw early on. He threw the kiddo for a would be touchdown, but he dropped it. He threw another first down to Debo Samuel, Bro. but he dropped it. And Jimmy then Jennings had, too. Jimmy had a good he, game. He, he he was making plays, right? It wasn't but he had a couple him. head scratchers. So well, he did. Everybody I mean, always highlights those. Man, they don't talk about on. his good passes. But the thing that's Jimmy though. Jimmy's gonna make a few. He's gonna make some really good plays. But he's good for one turnover a game, maybe two. But he's a poor man's Brett Favre. Yeah, but the thing is, when he makes his mistakes, he makes up for the mistake. Always. Always. You know what I mean? But and he buried uh, Eli, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think so. Eli's too, Barbers. He sure. got two rings. He stole them from Brady. Yeah, he got them from, you know, his, his team. Uh-uh, but he had a good team. You know I mean? Brady had nine rings right now. Oh, my God. Uh, man, we'll get into them, too, in a minute. But listen, man, I mean, on the road at Green Bay, 
I mean, Jimmy throws the fucking in, interception, and, and the, at the end of the half, when we drive in to score, when he scampers out, when he, all he had to do is throw the ball away. That's a Jimmy play. You know what I mean? That was just yeah, stupid. Yeah, yeah. You're trying to make. Like, no. Why are we? Why are you doing that? You still got time. You got timeouts. There's only like what 30, 40 some seconds on the, left in the clock in the, at the end of the first half. Those are times when he makes those dumb mistakes, though, bro. Yeah, we're watching that game together, and we're like, "Oh no, don't, Jimmy, don't throw it!" Oh, ooh. We, Luckily, like a DB misplayed a play one time. He misplayed the ball, and then like he tackled the defender instead, or attempted to tackle the defender instead yeah. of reading the pass. Jesus, or that would have been a pick, pick six or something. Maybe right, it could have been. I mean, Damn. but Jimmy makes those throws. Those are the oh no throws that he he oh, does. Oh no, Jimmy! Oh Yo, no, <laughs> right, yeah, like Tony Romo, man. But but he's good for that. But the, the thing is, he then he. Then he comes back and does what he did in the fourth quarter. He's a clutch dude. He's a so intense. That's what I'm saying. He's got sneaky intangibles. Yeah, he you does, You know, like man. those late game situations, you know, it's kind of like back in the day mm-hmm. when uh, Shaq, that was a terrible free throw shooter. Yeah. What did he used to always say? I'll make him when they count. <laughs> I'll make him when they count. That's kind of Jimmy G is, right? Right. I mean, that's, that's clutch. He got that clutch gene, bro. Yeah. He, he really do. I mean, and he's proving it. People can't say he don't because we've seen he did it. He's done it multiple times this season, bro. Multiple times. He did it against uh, Cincinnati. He did it against Aaron Rodgers earlier in the season. We, but we lost that game because we gave 37 seconds. We know whatever happened. That happened, you know. Yeah. And he did it again against L.A. <laughs> he, who else did he do it against? He, man, and he, he did it again yesterday in Green Bay. Yeah. So, I mean, come on, man. It's like. Uh, just keep on winning. Keep bro, on winning. He just keep, keeps keep, winning. Keep. But I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Front. I'm not going to front. This game was completely won by. The special teams, block kicks, block. and defense. It was a block I party mean, <laughs> and defense. I mean, come on, man. They build a wall like Giannis. And real shit. And Aaron Ed- Rodgers and De- Devontae Adams was Giannis. Because we were building that wall for him. <laughs> right. They was, they was, man. They put up them first seven points. Nothing yeah, else Yeah, Devontae, I mean, you ain't doing nothing today, boy. Nothing. I mean, first possession, okay, you was balling. But yeah. after that, you do nothing. They we settled built down. The wall. We they built settled a, down, we man. We built the Giannis on the Kupo wall. Feel me? I love it. It's beautiful, man. Um. But after they settled down after that first drive, man, they really they dug in deep and they was on Rogers' head all yeah, game. Yeah, I predicted five sacks too. And they got five. Nick Bosa. They got five. But both of them, Bosa uh, had one and a half. Well, he had one and a half or two sacks. He had two sacks. I, remember, so. I think he had two sacks, but he had a forced fumble. Yeah, yeah. He had yeah. Rogers and the ball went in the air yeah, and stuff. Yeah, I remember that. The arm stays like full rush. It was pressuring, over. man. It was beautiful, man. He, he went like this twice. Yeah, he, he was eating. You know, that's what he do he, out there. He was eating out there in that, eat that frozen eat tundra, eat man. It, eat it. Eat it. Man, and then I mean, and literally, like when I say the special teams won the game, no, they won the game. They scored every single point in the game. Oh yeah, every single point was this. special teams. Every single point. Jimmy Ward <laughs> messed up on a pass play at the end of the first half. Yeah, he did. Uh, allowed Aaron Jones to get a big game. Yeah, that was and, huge. Like, yeah, that hurt. You know, I was like, "What are you doing?" Luckily, we stopped him. Head him to a field goal. Oh no, nope. We blocked he, the field goal. Jimmy, Jimmy Ward, he Jimmy made up for it. He blocked. He's like, "Get that out of here!" No, right. no, no, Matumbo. Right. No, 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 yes. no, no, no. But that's so, what veterans do, man. That's why you keep them players like that around. He got all the intangibles too. Jimmy, you, you put you put him in. The special teams, look what he do. You know what I mean? Man. He back there playing safety, too. Man. Jimmy Ward, shout out to you, man. Yeah, shout out to Jimmy, man. That was beautiful, bro. Way to make up for that because because he, he I don't know what you was looking at going that way, but what it happens, you know, but, but whatever. But still, he made up for it, man. We appreciate Jimmy. it. Jimmy. I mean, he special teams was it for us, bro. I mean, without them in the defense – the offense didn't show up until the when it really, really counted in the fourth quarter. You know what I mean? They all contributed – in some way, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it wasn't pretty. That that was ugly, gritty, cold, blambo field. That's game for the ages. It started snowing, Tom. It started snowing. You see? Yeah. <laughs> like, a, like a snow globe out that bitch. And I'm like, <laughs> it should look crazy. Yeah. Oh, man. That's crazy, man. The, those hey, are those games, I, I was man. getting those flashbacks of when Green Bay beat us in the 90s when they had Brett Favre. We had Steve Young. Yeah. You know, a snow yeah. game. I think it's snow around. It was yeah. divisional round. It was divisional round. round. Yes, it was. Yes. T.O. was a rookie. You know, yeah. Jerry Ross was, was like, you know, still great. But, you know, he, he was, he was getting up there bit. a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but he still was great. And T.O. was a rookie. And Stokes was there. But he was more of a third option. J.J. wasn't. I mean, he wasn't that guy. He wasn't that guy yet. Nah, he, J.J. was all right. But it was the same same, same setting, though. Same thing. You know what I mean? Cold, freezing out there. Half the people had never played in that type of weather. Yeah. I mean, that shit is – that's tough to play in, man. Crazy, what, what, it was it? They said it was – uh, like seven degrees, but it felt like the fr- it was like below below one or some shit like that. But it was cold. I say that freezing. They was shivering out there, right? Man. And uh, 
I mean, I was just, it really was a great game, though, man. I mean, it was all defense, all ugly, but that's football. Yeah, that's even, football. Even George Kittle dropped past wide open. Mm, mm-hmm. Samuel did, Jennings mm-hmm. did. Yeah. So it was kind of like, you know, like it's the, the weather was too it was cold. It played a big part in the game, man. It made a huge part. But in the end, man, um, what does that say about Aaron Rodgers, bro? And his can't beat the 49ers. For some reason, We're in the four and zero, oh, that's the yes, most in the versus, playoffs versus a team. Wow, or versus a quarterback since nineteen fifty merger. How, how can you? Can, can, we got his number, man. Does he have to call us daddy? I mean, like oh, Pedro yeah, Martinez, oh, <laughs> like Pedro Martinez did to the Yankees. He's like, I think the Yankees are my daddy. Just like, just like LeBron James should do to the Warriors. I think, hey, I think the Warriors are my daddy. Four in the playoffs, a rod. Yeah, and we own them. I mean, like the Warriors on LeBron in the finals. Thank I don't you. know what to say, man. Right. I, we got their numbers. <laughs> yeah, we just know how to play them. It's, it's yeah. a bad matchup for them, you know? Yeah, yeah. Our corners find a way to, you know, do what they do. Our safety we, we get after him, too. I mean, down. Our linebackers fly everywhere. Our pass rushers always get after Rodgers. Yeah, always, always. We get after that guy. He, he don't like to see our D-line, man. Nah, but, again, like like we've been – well, we haven't talked to you in a while, but everybody – nobody wants to play us. Nobody does. they like, oh, shit. Got to play them. None of them. A Rod felt the same way. Dallas felt the same way. And out of Rams, you know they definitely feel the same way because what's the record against them, Tom? Uh, we won six in a row against the Rams. Six to zero. Six, six and zero. Oh. oh, so I mean, if that He's don't that put tail. you in a confident place and kind of have give you a psychological edge, edge you know yeah. what I mean? It 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 has to. You know what I mean? Because that's we're just, not we're in our heads. We're not mind. Yeah, for sure, it's domination, bro. I mean. But we cannot allow that to mean shit because this game ain't got nothing to do with them other games. Nothing. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like at the end of the day, it really don't. Because nah. this is the biggest – this game matters more than all of those games because this is to go to the chip. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know, for real. One game like, away, one, man. After, so, after starting three and five, though. Man. What? All these midseason turmoils and three Brandon and IU in the doghouse and – you know, wow. some of these injuries, like Kittle missed some games. They won the last n- nine one. out of 11 games, though, including playoffs. Nine out of 11. They started off three and five to nine and 11. Damn. I mean, not number 11, what was it? 11 out of nine, what, nine out of 11. Yeah, nine out of 11. Nine out of 11. Yeah, but, Jesus. But, man, like like I said, man, we know how to call their game. And then Shanahan knows McVay. Mm, you know, yeah, yeah. Stafford, I don't fear Stafford. Hold up, Beckham, we faced him many times already. Uh Cooper Cup, yeah, I've been high on him since the draft. I wanted the Niners to get him. He's going to eat. High on him. Von Miller always been my favorite edge rusher when he was the, with the Broncos, so I know what's up. Aaron Donald, he's the best corner. He's the best uh, D tackle in football. Rams is the best corner in football, if you want to say. But they don't do nothing against us, especially Aaron Donald. So it's, we gonna be ready. Styles make fights, man, and it's just a bad matchup. We are a grueling run, pound the ball, punch them in the mouth team. They are a pretty finesse team. They want to go in the air. They want to make it look pretty. You know what I mean? That, we don't play like that. We're going to muck the game up. We're going to sack your quarterback. We're going to run the ball down your throat until you yeah. can't stop it. You know what I mean? And they don't play like that. It, it throws them off. You know what I mean? And it's just a bad stylistic fight for them, unfortunately. And the thing is, we seen what happened on the last the last time we played them, right? They was up 17 nothing on us. We thought the season was over at halftime. Like, yeah. over. Like, real talk. Like, man, this, this is a wrap. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And what happened? And boys woke up, you know what I mean? Woke up a sleeping giant. Right. Let her get. They let us get them three points at the end of that half. You know what I mean? And then the game oh, completely popping. changed. I think what really happened was when McVay's dumbass came out there high five and Higby in the end zone, like, "Oh, we got it." Oh, uh, that, that that was kind of a slap in the face. And uh, come on, man, you can't do that. You can't be disrespectful, bro. So oh, yeah. I mean, they came back out after that, and uh. Whole tune change, man. Ooh, man. <laughs> like I said, man, I'm, I'm just happy we're facing the Rams again. It's like mm. it's not gonna be like a, a long flight trip to like it would be to Tampa. No, nah, so that's yeah. a good thing. We're familiar, real quick, we're familiar. Real we quick know how ride. to play them. You know, right. we ain't got to do too much scouting. It's all to the great. So, like I said, I'm not worried about the Russell Westbrook of the NFL, Matthew Stafford. You know, he, he's 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 all right. He's a good arm quarterback. He's yeah. basically a strong arm Jimmy Garoppolo. That's all he is, really. Mm. He throws a bunch of interceptions too. He threw like a oh, he got, six oh, three he, straight games. He's good for that, bro. He, he he's gonna he's a sl- yeah. he's a gunslinger though. He's gonna throw hey, he's gonna hey, throw a pick. Any sure. all he really is, is a stronger arm Garoppolo. 
Yeah, when you think about it, you could put it that you could put it that way because he, he does have a he's just a slinger. I mean, yeah, but he definitely uh he's but, not that smart. But my, my thing is I don't think he's as smart as Garoppolo. I think Garoppolo got that over him though. Garoppolo, the way he commands the offense, the way he, you know, leads, I think Garoppolo had got that over him. I think uh Stafford has better abilities, you know what I mean? But mentally, I think Garoppolo's ahead of him. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. You know, for sure. Yeah. We were sleeping mm-hmm. on our Garoppolo. Our Garoppolo keep winning games. We might have to keep him <laughs> for next year. But bro, if not, I'm, I'm ready for give us two second rounders. It's all good, bro. He's worth that two second rounders. I'm being nice today. It's no reason. I mean, let's let's get into that too, man. Jimmy guarantee you does not want to leave. He's like, man, why would I want to leave this situation? You know what I mean? Yeah. If he, if we, no matter what, even if we lose an NFC Championship game or, or we win, whatever the case may be, he's got us back. In the championship game, both years that he played with a healthy team, we went to the Super Bowl, I mean, Super, NFC Championship game or, or Super Bowl with him. Exactly. He's how do you how do you get rid of a guy like that? And he won shootouts. He won shootout against Joe Burrow, the other guy who's in the Final Four right now. Yeah, the other not, one. It's not like we won ten to seven. Well, we won like a it wasn't quite a shootout, but it's a mini shootout. That was a good game. It, it was aired really out. Game. You know, Jamar Chase had three touchdowns. You know, yeah, right. We we're all balling out there. We so. went to overtime that game, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, that was good. that was Robert a tough game. Down the field, yes, he did. And and against the Rams, and clutch. against the Cowboys, that and against gene. the Packers. Yes, this guy. That's all he does is clutch. That, that clutch gene, man. And like I said, man, he's he's Shaq at the free throw line, man. He makes him what he counts. Right, and he definitely does, man. He ain't made no mistakes to lose us the games this year, and that's what he ain't done. I mean, we, we lost a couple games, but that wasn't. I mean, we lost a lot of games, but. You can't put that all on him. I mean, he didn't throw no pick sixes or no nothing like that, you know. So. Exactly. And I want to say this, man. I'm going to say it for the next segment, but I was going to say this. Uh, I think this front seven is just as – it's on par with the hardball at front seven. It's, it's on par with it. It's definitely on par with the 2019 front seven for sure because they're playing just as good on the real. Like, yeah. I, th- I think these three linebackers, we got Warner, Sh- Shazier, mm-hmm. and uh, Drake Greenlaw. They equal Willis and Bowman in terms of like just pure like getting the job done. But wise. them three, you need them three to be them too. Exactly. <laughs> I, that's what, exactly why I said them three. Right, right. You know, because they don't have a, a, a two good enough for them. But yeah, right. All right. three can combine. Yeah, them all two. three for sure, for sure. You know, and then the D line, this D line that was insane. Got Arden Key had so many damn near as many sacks as uh, Max Crosby. He's balling, bro. I'm a teammate, but uh, DJ, DJ Jones. Jones. DJ play that song, Jones. Yes. yes. Um, is Armstead, Armstead looking like a monster. Bosa, of course. Yeah, Ibukam. You got the guy we got in the mid-season trade from the Texans. Mm-hmm. Who's his name? Number 92. Uh, yeah, Which one? I think it was the African dude. African oh, oh Ibukam? Ibukam? I forgot. Not, not Ibukam. Uh, another one? Another dude. Uh, uh, plus Willis, so too. C. And then Jordan Willis. Jordan, mm-hmm. I blocked that uh, kick in the playoff game. Willis. Mm-hmm. What you talking about, Willis? Man. I mean, shout out to him, man. and they, they, they so deep though. That's the thing, so that so they 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 rotating them. You know what I mean? They rotating, rotating, fresh. So they staying they fresh. fresh. That's what I'm saying. Getting after quarterback, that's, frustrating them. That's man, that's tough to deal I'm with, man. Making everything just terrible. But that's why their offense. What? I say we built for the playoffs. We that's why we built the team the way we built them because we are gonna run the ball. We are gonna get after the quarterback. <laughs> you ain't gonna have time to find your receivers because your quarterback gonna be thrown off because we coming. You know what I'm saying? So it's, nobody it's, wanna see us. I man, saw the talent. We got talent everywhere. Even our corners man. are good with Emmanuel Mosley and hopefully Ambry Thomas comes back. Mr. Oh, game winning. Yeah, what, what, what was it? We had knee swelling or something like yeah, that. Something like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but hopefully he can come back this game. So hey, and, and then we didn't even mention, man, you know, Debo. He didn't have a Debo S game, but nobody had an S game in this game. Yeah, he had just, like that what forty plus yard return. That's my point, though. He still showed up. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. People keep forgetting. Yeah, that. Debo didn't die. He, he dropped the pass too. He, he dropped, dropped the first down. Everybody dropped one. Everybody. Like like yeah, like real shit. All of, <laughs> don't get me wrong. <laughs> Debo's the best player in football to me. Like uh, man, all around, he's he's definitely up top there. three. Yeah, for sure. He's definitely up there. Top Him, three. Trent Williams, George Kittle. <laughs> Nick Bosa, the four best best players in football all playing on one team. That's not fair. Uh, it's like the Warriors hey, but, with Durant. But no, nah, but shit, that's how you become the best team in the league when you have the best players. I mean, shit, that's just the fact of the matter. Hey, right, though? Mm-hmm. Hey, that's probably our four best players, huh? Our four best players? Yeah, yeah. for sure, for sure. And, and whatever order you want to do, Kittle, yeah. Trent Williams, Bosa, and Kittle. Yeah, for sure. Or did I say Debo? Debo, Williams, Kittle, Bosa. Yeah, for Four sure. best players. I mean, and two of them cats came out the same draft. <laughs> that's robbery. <laughs> To the physical yeah. beast, Bosa and right. Samuel. Yeah, both came out the same draft. That that was that was a good good draft by by uh, by uh, Lynch and them boys. Ooh, and I got mm-hmm. another one for the next segment. Ooh, mm-hmm. boys, on and But man, but at the end of the day, man, um, it's just been a hell of a roller coaster ride this season. And um, 
to know that we started off at three and five to be in the NFC Championship game is really unbelievable, to be honest, man. I mean, yeah. we we all had Super Bowl aspirations to, at the beginning of the season. We all did. We all thought, yeah, we gonna be back. We gonna be back. We, we thought that shit. You know what I mean? We talked a lot of shit early because we thought we we was who we thought we were. You know what I mean? Then it's great. And then, but for real, but then three and five happened, and it was like, oh shit. We got you know to <laughs> we gotta, we gotta regroup. We're better than this. Right. Next thing you know, I was like, don't let us get in the playoffs. Right. Ooh, don't let us get in the playoffs. Is how we kept saying, don't let us get in the game playoffs. against the Rams. Like, that was, I was a, like, we're going to beat them. Bro, that was a playoff game. Oh, Cowboys, my us. three matchup I've been waiting since the 90s. Oh, man. We're going to beat them. They and, weak. Uh-huh. They play garbage division. Mm-hmm. Oh, the Packers, the team we always beat, they play garbage division. They're weak. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got them. We yeah. beat them. Right. And then we go on to L.A., a team that we 6-0 against. Oh my so god! It's like it's set, the, it's set up. The stage is set perfectly, bro, Ooh. for us. Like it really is. We don't have a rematch of the Super Bowl, no matter who so, we play. So, but again, I'm like I said, I'm not getting ahead of myself. I'm not. We can't take LA lightly. They got weapons everywhere. All it takes for them to have is one of them games where Stafford end up going crazy. You know what I mean? Right. So, so we got to take so, keep our composure, right, y'all. Right. We got to play play them like we play. We got to make them play our brand of football. We can't they let don't them want smoke. that smoke, right? Because Stafford. We already, we are. He, he, well, man, we'll get into that. Don't call him. He, hey. he almost lost again yesterday to Brady, and but we'll get into that in a little bit in a little bit. But just saying, because that bad man Brady, if he has some more weapons, yeah, man, he had too many injuries. Man, I'm telling you, but we'll talk about that when we yeah, get to that uh, game. But uh, but yeah, I, I'm not worried about Matt Stafford either, brother. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not like that because. He's he's just we 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 know we, we know what we're dealing with it. You know what I mean? Look at he threw all these he threw had like he had like three straight games with pick sixes. He threw a bunch of interceptions this year in general. Yeah. You know, and like I said, he puts up a bunch of stats and he a bunch of turnovers. Who is he? The Russell Westbrook of the NFL. Yeah. Would, should my Warriors be afraid of Russell Westbrook if they play the Lakers? No. <laughs> nah. So that's why my Niners should not, not. That's why my Niners should not be afraid to play Stafford. Cause he's Russell Westbrook. You don't get, you don't fear those kind of type of players. You let them just, they don't mess it up. Just wait for it. <laughs> and that's the truth, bro. And he's one of them type of quarterbacks. Cause he will, he will. But if you let him, that's the thing. You can't let him, cause he will burn your ass too. Cause like you seen what happened at the end of the game. But we'll get into that later. But anyway, moving on. Like I said, we going on to LA, man. And um, honestly, so my question to you: Do we win that game? Do we win the game? Next week, Niners, Rams, NFC Championship, Sunday night, world's watching. We on, they on, I know you're not stage is set, so far, popping, cracking Niner fans everywhere. That shit is lit like a barbecue pit. And yeah, you like already that. know. Are you asking we, me who's going to win? Yeah, who's going to win the goddamn the damn Niners time? Niners are going <laughs> to destroy them. We're winning 28 to 10. <laughs> Garoppolo, four touchdowns. No, I'm oh, Garoppolo, two touchdowns. Four. <laughs> two touchdowns, both to Kittle. Debo Samuel, 90 yards uh, receiving, uh, f- uh, 55 yards rushing. Mm. You know, IU puts, uh, puts the afterburners on Ramsey for a big game. That's going to set up the game winning field. Nah, we ain't going to do no game or game winning field goals. We're going to win. We're going to whoop that butt. Man, I, I, I don't. We have, we, we have, we've had enough of those, Armstead, man. Two sacks. I don't know if my heart could take any more of those games, Tom. We've been going through these past. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. We've been in some dog fights. Well, the Dallas game wasn't too much of a dog fight. That one was kind of we was whooping ass. And then we kind of let the let the foot off the gas towards the end. But that last game, Green Bay, that was some stressful shit. Yeah, that was stressful, man. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, don't, I don't like all that. Yeah, so I'm man. saying so. Niners, man, y'all lucky. I love y'all, man. I let y'all put me through that. Uh, uh, we've been in a uh, toxic relationship for a lot of oh, years. Oh, years. Oh, since it's, it's, the, it's the most toxic relationship you'll ever have yeah. in your life. Y'all be getting me so it's mad with your games, man. It's the worst. I hate My you gosh. and I love you at the same damn time. That shit is like, awful. Oh. <laughs> like you guys, you, you guys have a chance to go to the Super Bowl, and we didn't even have to go through Brady, you. right? We didn't have to go through Brady, and there's a chance we might not even have to go through Mahomes. Team match win the Super Bowl, then have to go through Brady or Mahomes. Uh, that would be a highway robbery. That we yeah. we stole uh, we stole mm, in the NFL. You yeah, might be right, but it ain't gonna happen. We're gonna get one of the motherfuckers. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. All right, but um, real spill. But okay, so I mean, honestly, I mean, I think we gonna win the game as well. Um, but I just don't think it's gonna be an easy game. I still think it's gonna be tough. I don't want it to be, but I just believe they're not going out. McVay. He got he he's a man over there too. So you can't you can't keep letting Kyle punk you. That's what people are probably over saying. <laughs> Kyle is punking you, bro. He beat your ass six times. 
What, what, you, what are you? You gonna let him beat you again? Like Michael Jordan would do. I have to win a six title. He like <laughs> in the NFC Championship. You gonna let him beat you again at home again? You know what? I, you yeah. gotta grow some balls, bro. Or when, something. Hey, hey, when I hear six, mm. or like when I hear something, I'm like, oh, you beat him six straight times. I think on Michael Jordan put up number six after he won a six title. Like, oh, with the, with the one finger and the five fingers. <laughs> oh, like, six. <laughs> I must, hey, we, should, hey, we need to see some Jordan memes like this. Uh, with six. <laughs> right? Uh, that'd be dope. So. Yeah, that'd be dope. But, I mean, so, I, like I said, I think it's, um, it's going to be a tough game, but I think we, we pull it out. You know, yeah. so I do. I do. I truly, truly do. Uh, you know, Early in the playoffs, we were very nervous about all of this shit. You know what I mean? Because we we knew the team that we had, but Spot. it's just are they going to show up? Who's, who's going to show up? You know what I mean? And they all showing up right now. So, and it's beautiful to watch, man. It's if you a Niner fan, you know what the fuck we talking about right now. Because this is this is fun. This is what it's about, baby. Y'all already know this is this is what we here for. This is why we this is why we go so crazy over this shit every year for this. Because it's here. Yeah. Yeah, we one game away. One. Come on, man. We got to keep that energy crazy. All right. <laughs> Ooh, let's go, man. Nick Bosa, get off that uh, edge, man. Ibukam. Arden uh, uh, Key uh, is the key. Arden Key is the key, right? Get out. Get, for you know, real. Because he, he, run, he rushed from the outside and inside. I love Arden Key, though. You man. know, uh, we, we got to resign him. So that, that's why we got to trade Jimmy, too, because of that. We got to free uh, resign Arden Key. I'll start for another day. But Arden Key, man, you are the key for the next game. You got you got to be that guy because Armstead and Bosa they gonna do their thing. Oh, they, everybody so gonna you're eat. that third guy. You're the, you're the IU of the D line. They basically. gonna eat. You're the Brandon IU of the D line. So get, oh, get, get on it. And, and DJ Jones. I believe in you too. too. I mean, they got the thing is, there's so many of them that they, they just throw, they come in waves, bro. It's just too many of them. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's gonna be a fun game. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it, man. Um, we we possibly might be in LA. We're trying to figure those plans out as we speak. So. Um, you know, and if we, and honestly, if we go to LA, we're going to do a facts of our feelings from LA. Oh for yeah. Sure. You, you, know oh, you know, we are, we are for sure. You know what I mean? So expect that if, if we go, if we go, you oh, know what I mean? Running lot, we're going to hit you like running we'll, lot. We'll figure it out this week though. Cause you know, ain't nothing but hop, skipping a jump for us to hop in that vehicle and mob out, but the prices and them tickets is looking a little crazy. So yeah, <laughs> but, might just tailgate or something. Yeah, we'll see, man. Just, just go be fuck out with, there. We'll yeah, see. Just fuck with the festivities. See what's cracking. But anyway, what's up? Um, but anyway, man. Like we said, big, huge game, man. We excited, as you can tell. I mean, this is huge, huge, huge for the Bay. Huge for the Niners. Huge for us as fans, man. Everybody is going nuts in the Bay right now, and they have a right to because we one game away from back. To glory, man. Back Woo! to it, man. <laughs> man, can you believe this, though, man? We, yeah. we about to. It's amazing, man. I'm <laughs> fully confident in our boys that we can get back there to that. Man. Back to L.A. Going, going, back, back to Cali, Cali, Cali. And we win yeah, in Yeah, Smalls on line one. Bro, can you imagine? Niners lay on their way back right now. Or they probably already got back, obviously, two days. You know, but you get the picture, man. I mean, <laughs> we were raw, man. We they, got so much bro. talent, and, and we just finna finesse on the Rams again. Six, seven straight times. Lucky seven. I'm guaranteeing it. Joe Namath. Oh, shit. <laughs> the Who want to smoke? Bro, can you imagine if we win a Super Bowl in L.A., what the streets of L.A. would be like? Because this, I think there's more Niner fans in L.A. than it is Rams fans, to be honest. Facts. Like, real shit. Like, real shit. Fans no, no, like, real shit. Because because no because the Rams not really a, I mean they was a real LA team but then they left for so long they don't have come, no roots that's like, what I'm saying so it's like they fan base that's why you can take over their stadium like that because they ain't got no real fans that's like that. why teams you know take mean? over the Chargers uh, stadium yeah, same shit because they I mean Chargers ain't from LA you know what I mean they're from San Diego <laughs> yeah even, <laughs> even like when they were in San Diego it was safe there yeah, yeah, especially yeah, like in LA it looks yeah. ridiculous it's like right. a, it's like a soccer stadium it's, like it's, it's so big I man shit is huge that's the last one they had but yeah. So, oh crazy. well, oh well. I, that's a trip because you know, look at the Bosa. Joey Bosa has the Charters mm. horrible fan base, like no fan base or hardly yeah. any fan base. Yeah. Nick Bosa yeah. has an army full of just Empire Niners everywhere. Yeah. Every state yeah. he goes, home everywhere. game, road game, it's a bunch of ready. Right. So the Bosa's they deal with two different styles of fans. True that. It's crazy. It is, but it's that's the NFL though, man. And um, also. Uh, Joey, come on out. The, the, the big, uh, the big story was that the, the the Rams were trying to block the Bay Area fans from buying tickets. That's horrible, you know what I mean? They, they're trying to block them on on, on the sites, on the Ticketmaster sites. Horrible. They lifted the ban today. 
But still, just the fact that you would even do that because you're scared we're going to take over your shit. And they're gonna take over. No, yeah, it's gonna be taken over. That's for sure. Take over, like so Jay Z. They call it a red out already. You know what I mean? Because y'all, red y'all, out. y'all tried that bullshit. So now, red this, light. This is gonna be the result stop of your sign. nonsense, your shenanigans. Red stop sign, you know. So. <laughs> Forty niners, boy, we uh, all come man. up. It's gonna be fun, man. I look forward to this Sunday, as I'm sure all of y'all are looking forward to it as well. So looking forward to it, man. Y'all. 40 freaking Niners. We on and popping, y'all. Let's go, baby. It's, it's going to be fun, man. Like. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but, yeah, but guess what, man? Um, let's move on a little bit, man. Uh, the Niners wasn't the only team that played this weekend. Okay? It wasn't. <laughs> man, when I tell you, Tom. It's a Niner world. Yeah, I mean, for us, we live, we live in a Niner world, as you know. For, for us, fans, but we, we like, love this game, though, just like y'all do. Oh, man. <laughs> So, um, gosh, man, Niners, man, hey, y'all made us proud, though. That's all I gotta say. Oh, man, for sure, for sure. man, it's no, it's not beyond proud. But that game last night, Chiefs and, and the Bills, and Bills woo, bro, shootout, Josh bro, Allen, bro, 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 crazy, man. Listen, man, that thing was the, the highest level of quarterback I think I've ever seen in my life. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know real shit. I mean, I swear to God, I don't think I've ever seen nothing like that. I mean, the, the way they both tongue tongue like that. That shit, and that shit was amazing, bro. I mean, they were going back and forth. Back and forth back like and Aaliyah. Forth. I mean, I'm sure most of y'all seen the game, man. But these numbers are fucking ridiculous. Josh Allen, 329 yards, Damn. four touchdowns. On 30, 27 to 37 passing. That's crazy. With a passer rating of 136. <laughs> Four Jeez. TDs, no, dis- no Josh. <laughs> childhood Niner fan, Josh Allen. Jesus Christ. And then Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. 378 yards, <laughs> two touchdowns, or three touchdowns? Three touchdowns. Three touchdowns, no interceptions. Wow. No one is. <laughs> and he had a quarterback rating of 123. I mean, I mean, come on, man. Both of that. If in fantasy points, <laughs> Josh had forty points in fantasy, and Patrick Mahomes had forty three points. If y'all play fantasy, if you know fantasy, that's a lot of fucking points. Yeah. I mean, for, for one he player did, to he have, he did his thing. They both did, bro. I mean, that was some high level shit. The both of their defenses is trash. Cause just saying, especially the Bills defense, bro. Yeah. They run in a prevent defense against Patrick Mahomes when you know they got to get 60 yards. You playing 30, ball, 30 yards off the ball. You leave Travis Kelsey wide open on one-on-one wow. with, a, with, a, with a damn with – um, That was damn near like when Aaron Jones was left wide open. I mean, come on. He, in our game. That's just retarded, bro. I mean, they. this is how retarded it was. It was 13 seconds left. 13. Dak Prescott – Lost the game in 14 seconds against us. Man. He came down and scored <laughs> a, a, a field goal in 13 seconds, bro. Crazy. 60 man. yards, bro. And three. That's, this shit is amazing. I mean, that's Patrick Mahomes we're talking about. Oh, so, that I mean, arm. Jeez. You know, you should know the deep ball was coming. And when he, he didn't even go deep, he just left him open. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you should have know uh, uh, Mahomes is looking for that split, that split, right. that wide open dude. And you you playing prevent. Why are you playing prevent? That's Play him saying. straight up and down. That's, that's how stupid. you do it. You're giving him yards. You're giving it prevent to him. Prevent prevents you from winning. Indeed. That's exactly what it does. What and it, does. it showed last night. And But the thing is, man, w- w- the reason why I'm so, I feel so strongly about the game, because Josh Allen had the game of his life, bro. That boy went crazy, and he's still – and Ballin. they went to overtime, right, Baller. obviously, right? Yep. And then the rules in overtime now are first person – if you score a touchdown on your first drive, you win. Other player, other team doesn't get the ball. But if you score a field goal, then the game's not over. You still get to play. Yeah. I don't like them rules. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. Yeah. It's been like that for a while, but I feel like they should just play to – play, play, put some minutes on the clock, bro, and just play. Make some more minutes, yeah. like they do in the NBA, like they do in everything else. You don't play until somebody scores. I mean, I don't, that's just me, but just saying. But anyway, Josh, feel like he got robbed, bro. 
because he played a he played a you can't play a better game of football than yeah, that. Josh Allen's like I, I just like looking at those stats. You know I mean, three hundred twenty yards, four touchdowns, no picks, no picks. Josh Allen got a bright future. No, he, he outdoed. I mean, Mahomes in, in, think, in a way. Man, I think he did, bro. I think he had a better game. Like I really do. But I mean, no, no disrespect to Patrick Mahomes. He's a like Mahomes is, 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 is a bad man. Yeah, for sure. He he, he played great. He he Mahomes beat him. Man. But uh, but and and that's the thing. I'm glad we just said that because that's the thing right there. We just said. Josh Allen had one of the best games we've ever seen in his life. And guess what? Yeah. He lost. He lost. He it's a lost. Team game. Tom. It's a team game. He lost. So you, know you, I mean? you can have it's those you can have those that the best quarterback in the world and still lose. I mean, Russell so, Wilson's the best quarterback probably in our division, and he's the only one who can make the playoffs. But Jimmy, who's a mediocre at best, you know, or a little bit above average, you know, of like you said, Tony, a very good quarterback. He's not elite. It's not these guys, but he wins. He wins the damn game. He wins. Just win, baby, like how David so, said. That's my point. But just, not to take away from their game, just saying, you know, just making a point. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that, but no, that was a shootout last night. That was one for the ages, man. I'm glad. Josh Allen's the future, Yeah, man. he definitely is. That was, that was a great game. Mahomes, hey, he got to deal with Josh Allen and Joe Burrow and but, uh, Justin Herbert. But how AFC. about Patrick you know, Mahomes going Jackson. to – Four straight NFC championship games. Hell yeah. That is that, crazy. I McDonald mean, McNabb went to like four. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but straight was a straight like this? Back to back to back? Yep. Damn. McNabb did that. Yeah, well, McNabb, McNabb, Every year I was McNabb's nice. McNabb's OG. Too. McNabb's OG. McNabb, but I mean, but Mahomes is he's doing some legendary shit right now early. Mahomes is still a young cat. So what are he 25, 26? Mm-hmm. He's about 26. Yeah, he's still young, though. That's that's young. He's fifth mm-hmm. year. Right. And he already got I'm one. Sure I want the Niners to draft him. All right. But, uh, so, but that was a that was a good game, man. It Niners. definitely was, man. Um, still rep y'all, man. Got some beautiful colors, man. And then, um, you know, not, for, the first game of the weekend, which was a really good game as well, is the Bengals and the Titans, man. Yeah. That was that was a – it was kind of like our game, ugly. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of defense. A lot Not, of them. I mean, Joe Burrow, he had, what, no touchdowns and one pick? Yeah, I mean, he, he didn't have a great game. He, he really he, didn't. I mean, he had, like, you know, a bunch of yards. but A lot he, of yards. It wasn't, it wasn't a typical him game. Yeah, no touchdowns. Like, no, he, he, he was Jamar throwing, Chase, right. You know, you think I throw a minimum two to Jamar Chase. Right, right. Tyler Boyd, T. Higgins. But he got, he got sacked nine times. Nine times. Nine and he still won the game. Yeah, he got one ugly. I mean, you know, he got sacked nine times. You know, like 50 Cent got shot nine times. He got sacked nine times. Oh, my you know? God. But, hey, at the end of the day, man, they moving forward to the Final Four with us. Yeah. People might call for a Bengals 49 Super Bowl Part 3. Like, oh, okay. I, I like that. It's a possibility. I don't want no payback on the Chiefs. I just want to win a Super Bowl. And um, Tannehill had an awful game. He. Three interceptions. Ooh, three. Is he garbage? Because everybody says Garoppolo's weak and all hey, he's not. They call Garoppolo the worst quarterback in this playoffs. Well, Ten- Tannehill seemed like he was the worst one to me. If the, looking at these balls. numbers, looking at these numbers here, Garoppolo mm-hmm. is the, play, the most clutch quarterback in the playoffs. Right. He's so, showing um, it time and time again. I, two minute drill. I want Garoppolo over any of these quarterbacks this year. Right. Except, right except now, Mahomes. But, well, me yeah, and Mahomes are different. You know, that's different. <laughs> But if Mahomes and Garoppolo <laughs> face each other again, I'm taking Garoppolo. Oh, he man. plays for my team. You feel for me? Sure. And you I'm rocking know. with him. You already know. But that was that was a good game too, though, man. It came down to the wire. Um, you know, um, what the last few seconds was a field goal by Cincinnati in order to move on to the AFC Championship game, man. So that was, I mean, it was a good one. It was hella hella suspenseful too. Just all these games have been like that, man. Mm. Every single game, and then. You got the OG man, that goat over there, man. That goat Thomas Brady, <laughs> damn, he lost to the Rams. Yeah, man. Uh, Brady strong. I mean, I know, like, see, they had a lot of injuries, though, man. You know, they had hella injuries, man. Brown, I mean, I mean, their left tackle, Antonio Brown. Brown I mean, I mean, Gronk. I don't know how Gronk had was. a good game, though. I mean, Gronk like, was balling, bro. Gronk well, had a yeah. good game. Gronk, he probably was playing her because he always does. But Gronk's yeah, a, a, the greatest tight end ever. He, he's OG Hall of Famer. I mean, but I'm not going to lie, bro. Dallas, I mean, uh, not Dallas. L.A. played a good game. They did play a good game. Um, Cooper Cup went crazy like he always do. You know what I mean? Uh, Akers had two fumbles, yeah. so he's not back completely as far as running the ball yet. Uh, OBJ had some really 
good catches as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. All they players stepped up and played a good game. But Tom Brady at the end of the game, what did he do? He went down down the field to Evans. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> That quick. Almost won the game, man. He just didn't have enough. If he would have got the ball back again, they would have scored again. You know what I mean? But we'll, we'll get it last. That's how it works, man. And um, he, then Stafford came out and threw that bomb to, to Cooper Cup. Damn, and Cooper Cup. Curtains, bro. You know? Yeah, I Cooper mean, Cup is another guy I want us from that 2017 drive. He's in the league. He's, he's elite. At least, at least slot guy anyway. But, he, yeah, I think Moses is going to lock him up. Honestly, not to be put race in this, but. So I think it's probably the best white receiver I've ever seen, to be honest. Just on the real. I don't know. I don't know nobody. I think of Don Beebe, maybe some type of cast, but I Russ don't. Russell Welker? Russ Welker, too, was good like that. Yeah, Russ Welker was really good. Was long. Chris yeah. Collinsworth, Steve Larchick, probably the best white receiver. Yeah, Chris Collinsworth was good. He was he was tough, though, too. He was. Well, yeah. White, but, 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 but Cooper Cup is different, though. He's he's like, he, he reminds you of like a Andre Ryzen type of, you know, he reminded I mean? me of a white Anquan Bolden when he came out, just like the physical, it, and the the physical yeah, 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 going up for so, ball, but but fast too. I mean, yeah. he's he physical though, but but he but he's a finesse, a finesse dude too, and 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 the fact that they always going down the field, you know what I mean? Which is okay. I like him though; he's great. He's a good yeah. player, and he had a good game. He had a really good game too. Um, but man, a real real spiel. Brady had a we're still had a good game, man. Threw for three hundred twenty nine yards. One touchdown, one pick. Yeah, uh, yeah, I sat three times. It know. wasn't a great Tom Brady game, but he played damn great. He could still play. He played a Brady played, game. Played. I mean, that's that's what you're gonna get from Tom. And you might have more touchdowns if he had more weapons, but he just they ain't there. Yeah, he didn't have the weapons, man. Nah. I, I give him a pass for it. I mean, that was that's crazy. I kind of wanted the Niners Bucks. Uh, I wanted that title game. I NFC did too. I did game, too, man. I predicted that before the season, but yeah. at the end of the day, it is what it is. But. Yeah. Shout out to Brady, man. You the goat, but it's night time, baby. Yeah, and and honestly, that might have been a blessing in disguise for us, just to be honest, you know, because it's too much, too much energy around the Brady and, and the Niners. I don't yeah. know if I want to deal with that, you know. What I mean? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's different, you know. But uh, but yeah, so uh, that was that was a great game, and then of course, you know, our game, you know. So definitely, like I, I had a post about it yesterday. I said this is the best. Football, I think I've ever seen in my life in the playoffs. I've never seen four games Aaron playing Allen like that. Like, like just close, like, hard enough. Yeah, hard every single not. game, every single game was All just like them. the NFL. I had my hats off to y'all, brother, because that was y'all. Y'all took anybody who was an NFL fan this week. They was tuned in like we was. They got hella money. I guarantee you. Cause that shit was fun to watch. It was fun, it was like a great movie. <laughs> Man, that shit was awesome. In a sports type mm, of way, that was beautiful. It was a great football weekend. You know, it's like stuff they come up with in movies. You know, the Niners go to Green Bay. It's like, it's like we're about to lose. We blocked two kids right. on special teams. Blocked. You know, we're sacking Aaron Rodgers. We're sacking Aaron Rodgers. Who funga recovers our rookie? Our rookie, what fifth round pick? Man. Funga, man, it was it was a magical football weekend, man. I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. I really don't, never. And I've watched a lot of football. I can't remember a divisional weekend like this, bro. I really can't. Yeah, <laughs> to where every man. single game came down to like almost three points, or to the last last. Every game did come down to that, and in the last game went to overtime. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> so this shit was crazy, bro. Crack a lack and crazy, man. 40 freaking Niners. And uh, we're moving on, man. So uh, this is great. This is wonderful. Um, we we are beyond happy, beyond elated. This is just this is what we can. It's what we're here for, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. For real, we're man. here, man. And, you know, the playoffs, they almost they, they winding down. Final four. That's it. That's you know, it. we ain't talking about March Madness, baby. Nah, you know? No. Nah, nah. So. This is January Madness, if anything. But your 40 yeah. freaking Niners, we going on to so. the next round, LA Rams division. Yeah, yeah. We're NFC Championship. So we'll uh, we'll revisit that next week for sure. Uh, like I said, hopefully um, things work out in our favor. We'll be in LA doing that thing. So Man, we'll see what's up. <laughs> we'll see what's crackling with that. For sure. So let's go move on a little bit, man. Again, to our uh, our question topic, man. Our facts over feelings questions for this particular episode. Okay. <laughs> Want to start off? Yeah, go ahead, brother. Facts over feeling. Is it a fact or is it a feeling that you know Eric Armstead's recent play in the second half of the season, especially in the last three games, has made people forget about the Forrest Buckner? 
as he picked up the slack finally? Is that a fact or is that a feeling? <sighs> I don't know. That's tough, man. Um, I still got to say it's still a feeling because, um, don't get me wrong, he arms at his plan playing really, really good, like out playing much, much better. But I just think Buckner's his um, his presence just period just I don't know. He he was different, you know what I mean? I think a lot I, I just think a lot of his success Armstead's success came from Buckner, you know what I mean? Yeah. But um but I'm not gonna lie though man, I mean Armstead having a hell of a year. I mean especially in these playoffs. He is balling his ass out man. I'm not missing Buckner. I'll say that. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> At all. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, like, damn. I wish we still had him. I mean, I would love to have him, but he's not. He, we're we're fine without him. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'll say that. So, but I can't say that I would rather have him over him. You know what I mean? So I got. I gotta be in my feelings on that one. <laughs> That's a fact. I'm going with a fact. Buckner, who? who? <laughs> nah, hey, Buckner's great, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, Arm says. Uh, monster right now against the Rams he was ragged on that guard back into Stafford and then into uh Prescott and then into uh Rodgers he's been like hogging these guards and centers and stuff yeah he's been balling bro I ain't gonna lie I, that's what I'm like yeah fact I, I don't really miss uh Buckner too much like he's he's picking up the slack that's yeah a fact. that's for sure he definitely is it's just hard you know yeah. they, they was they was they was dominant together you know so, yeah. <laughs> like super dominant that shit was elite now that was elite <laughs> yeah real talk man. for real um, so my, uh, I got a question here. Um, Jimmy G will be more appreciated when he's gone. Is that a fact or a feeling? Well, that's a fact, Jack. He will be more appreciated when he's gone. For some mm-hmm. reason, they don't appreciate him now. Appreciate, appreciate him while he's, while, right. while he's here, you know? Well, miss me um, when I'm gone. You know, like Marshawn Lynch would say, appreciate you, you know? <laughs> appreciate you. So it's like. You know he makes plays. He's in the clutch, man. He like I said, he's like his his play is like like Shaq at the free throw line. You know, it's like he'll miss him. He'll miss some stuff during during the, during the game, the heat of the middle of the game. But you know he makes them when he counts. Right. He makes those throws when he counts. It's like Shaq made free throws when he counts, as he said. Right. So it's no different. Jimmy G, we believe in you, man. You we don't you don't take us to the promise line. But go ahead. I believe that is a fact as well, my brother. All these Jimmy G haters out here. Talking to you. All of y'all haters, I don't know how you I don't get it. But when he when he's gone, y'all gonna miss the hell out of him. I guarantee yeah. you. Because guess what? Trey ain't ready yet. And no disrespect to Trey, but it, the fact of the matter is he's just not. He's gonna go through growing pains, right. which means the team's gonna go through those same damn pains with him. So it's gonna take a minute. And like I told Tone, unless he's an anomaly, unless he's a Patrick Mahomes, the cats just hit the ground running. But that remains to be seen. We don't know that yet. And I don't believe he is. I believe he has the goods, and I believe he's going to be great, but just not right away. You know yeah. what I mean? So, yes, everybody's going to miss Jimmy when he's gone, God damn it! I promise you. <laughs> That's a fact, for real. Just, <laughs> just keeping it real, man. Just saying. <laughs> hey, <Shit. laughs> we're going to be on and cracking, man. Like I said, you heard my answer right there. So. Yeah, yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. Let me see. What was the other question? Hmm. Oh, what is it a fact or is it a feeling that the Packers are just like the Cowboys as far as they took advantage of a terrible division? Is that a fact <laughs> or is that a feeling? <laughs> oh, let me see. Who's in the division? You got Minnesota. You got Bears and Lions. Bears. Oh, hell yeah, as a fact. <laughs> hell yeah. That ain't a division is garbage. That, oh my god. Minnesota, Detroit, and Chicago. Oh man, hell yeah. That's that, that's man, all them stats is man. They're just like Washington yeah, right. and well, yeah. Right. Yeah, same like you said, same shit. Like like, like the Cowboys. They're playing in the NFC least. You know, they trash over there too. You know what I mean? Washington, the Giants, the Eagles, they can't get it together. They can't right. draft. Really. Washington got some players, but they're I mean, no, they got they, they got an all right team, but they all don't right. have no offense though. You know what I mean? You gotta have that to win too. Niners, we got both. We got talent on both sides of the ball. And we play in the best division in football. Hey, look at period. Niners, <laughs> Niners got a, a, at least a great or a, a, a real good player at every position. Yeah. Every position, right? D line, linebackers, corner, safety. But that's why that's how you build, that's how you win championships. Super tight end, running backs, guard, right. center, tackle, everything. Pullback. 
So what do you? What's your, what's your answer to that question? That's, that's, a, that's a fact. They yeah, benefit from that so garbage too. division, man. <laughs> so just like the Cowboys facing all these weak teams, man. Uh, but, so uh, I you know, feel you. It's a fact. That's, that's they definitely weak. a fact. That's why they soft. They soft cheese. <laughs> they cottage cheese. Yeah, uh, man. They they definitely cheese. That's for sure. They cottage cheese. <laughs> all right. Um. All right. So after Josh Allen's phenomenal performance yesterday in the NFC divisional round, throwing for all that shit. He threw four touchdowns, 378 yards, all of that, right? Is it a fact or a feeling that he is now on the same level as Patrick Mahomes as far as being an elite quarterback? Fact or Garoppolo? feeling? No, Josh Allen. Oh, Josh Allen. Mm-hmm. After his performance yesterday. Heck yeah, that's a <laughs> he deserves to be right there with Mahomes. He outdoed them to me. He went toe to toe, and 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 then Doug didn't dodge. He just went right at him. Mm-hmm. Say, yeah, man, I'm right there with you, man. Mm-hmm. I'm just as good as you. Mm-hmm. You know, and I might even be better than you. Mm-hmm. Just Thank might be you. better than you just because mm-hmm. he grew up a Niner fan. <laughs> so you know, that might that might be the automatic. You're better than him. Oh, that's that shit. might be the tiebreaker. To be honest, like <laughs> even if it's tied, that's that's tiebreaker right there. Material. I uh, feel you. Hey, <laughs> I, I agree with you, brother. I think it's a fact as well. I think he's just as good, and if not, better. I mean, I'm be wrong. Pat Mahomes is a bad boy. He, he's something like we never seen. But Josh Allen, what he did yesterday, bro, just put him like he like he's like stood up to like nigga like what? I'm, I'm just give me the ball. I'm I'm coming right back, right back. I mean, and throwing yeah. darts. I mean darts all over the field i mean 20 yards 30 yards 50 yards 40 yards just like it's nothing swinging them like from different yeah. angles everywhere running the ball i'm like this look at this this, this shit was crazy i'm just like okay he, he really he wanted to win so bad tom he he, he did everything like magic johnson right and, he, and he's like magic johnson with the ball magician like and like it's almost like how magic johnson is like okay i'll play center in the final man for it's real like how mahomes did you know I, i'll do this i'll do that I mean, it just, it just, just crazy, man. Debo might be Magic Johnson. Oh, okay. But he, 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 but he still couldn't win, man. But I, I, I like, I like Josh a lot, man. I think he's, I think he's up there now. I think he's. Oh, that's, that's for sure. I think he is. He, he, he definitely let his mark, you know, be you known. But it just sucks because he lost to them last year. And he lost to them again this year. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So it's like, damn, he, he got to get over that hill. It's like when Steve Young used to go against the Cowboys. He used to go against Green Bay. I'm going to lose to him this year, lose to him again, and finally got the Owens, Owens, Owens. <laughs> it took a minute. Owens, they got it, they got it, they got it. I remember but, that moment. Ooh, yeah, that was right. That, that was that was that changed everything. That but was lovely. You got to get over that hump, though. But he did a damn thing. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, man. So moving on, man. We got a lot of folk football looking to forward to, man. Um, it's been a great, wild, fantastic playoffs run so far, especially for our Niners. You know what I mean? Our Niners are amazing. Um, I know y'all love to watch this shit, so we all on a ride together, man. So let's enjoy this shit because this, this this don't happen every day, man. It, it don't. Back in the NFC Championship game. Yeah, man. This is beautiful. This Can you is, believe it, though? Nah, like real. If y'all Niner fans, man, y'all should know what we what we feeling right now. This is amazing, like fucking for real, man. <laughs> it's just so, it's I, just, I love it. It's, I love it's, 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 it's gonna be fun, man. Uh, you know, if you listen to this podcast, man, uh, and you go back and listen to us throughout season one and summer season two, you can see that we've been saying this for a long time. This ain't nothing new. We've been talking about how good of a team we are since day one. And now you can go back and listen to all that shit and realize, damn, these guys know what the fuck they're talking about. Because look where we at. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> was predicting the Niners going to go far and all that. But listen listen to our early shit, man. We've been saying this for a long time. People always say, well, nobody's done. Okay. Check well, them receipts. Come come, come back to the feelings, man, and come tell me what you think. <laughs> go ahead and listen to the early episodes, all right? Because we've been come saying look. this. Check it out, man. We, we we know the team we have. We've been knowing this for the longest. We knew we had the same team we had in 2019 minus a couple players. And that's it. Same team, same coaches, but more, but just a little bit more experience now. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we exactly. here, baby. We here. 
<laughs> I'm just so freaking happy. We are here, man. We been in the NFC title game, man. We we gonna, oh, we, we, gonna we gonna be back in LA for the following week. Like the Niners will like yes. you know playing for we need the you know what game. The bowl, baby. The bowl. That's what we play, folk, man. So I guarantee a victory. I don't care. Oh, man. We're gonna win this game. I, I believe we're gonna win too, man. I really do. Um I just I, I just know how prepared these boys is going to be. I don't think there's going to be a lot of fucking around. They ain't going to make me out there bullshitting. They're going to be locked in. having a good time in L.A.? No, stay in the Bay. I mean, the Bay is raw, but come on now. Just stay in the Bay. No, just go up Chill. there when you have to, like a regular business game. Business trip. Yeah, you know, whoop that tail. This, this, this is the business trip before the for the before the main business trip. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so Pre-business trip. Uh, yeah, you got to you got to take care of business here first. You know rough I mean? draft first, yeah, you this, know? This, 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 is, this is the, the one before you get to the final, like you said. Yeah. Yeah. The rough so, draft and the final draft is you know ah, yeah. we're set so but yeah man um we can't wait till next week man we can't wait we can't wait it's it's gonna be fun i'm glad uh y'all still rocking with us man um you know all to the great man um we back though for good man facts over feelings your boy tone you know trey you already know we here man uh, we appreciate y'all as always. This is the playoff edition, man. So we'll get back to our normal shit our next normal week. Stuff, you know yeah. what I mean? It's Niners. We see what yeah, we're know. You know what it is, man. You no, know, we be on our shit right now, and we should be, man. You can't tell us nothing, nothing, nothing. Can't tell us nothing <laughs> like uh, was that French Montana? Oh, man. Can't tell me nothing, man. Man, 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 but yeah, you, you get the picture, y'all. For sure, man. Um, facts over feelings, baby. We back. So, uh, playoff edition. Thank y'all for rocking with us. Tell That's folks about us. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Yes, sir. You know we had uh, facts over feelings. Just like right you said in the bottom. That's right where you look us up. At it. We all over. Tell man. those all that spots. you know. Tell nine friends. Tell other individuals. Everything. On the YouTube, same thing. Facts over feelings. All of it. Just like you see it right there. Man, rock with your boys, man. Spill. spill. It's playoff time, baby. Niners all day. Let's go. And twice on Sunday, baby. Pop your collar. <laughs> Bay boys, play boys. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's nah. Go. Niners. Pop your collars. <laughs> <laughs>